Okay. Hey, I want to watch the, the news. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. Smack a McGob, it's time for the only news that matters. And yes, it does matter how much Sammy Hagar sucks. And I will continue to call him out until he acknowledges me. I will not stop. Anyway, Sammy Hagar is set to share songwriting credits with Eddie Van Halen on one of his new songs. After the vocalist claimed the late guitarist legend came to him in a dream to help him compose a new track. Oh, man. Speaking to Ultimate Classic Rock, the former Van Halen, well, the, the current Vangina vocalist, he will always be the Vangina vocalist, explained the dream-written single, which is titled, Thank You, is based on a riff that Eddie Van Halen had shown him before the guitarist passed away. Sammy Belcher said, I shouldn't be hyping it now. Nobody knows this but Michael Anthony, Jason Bonham, and Vic Johnson. About two months ago, I had a dream with Eddie. And we were in a room, and there was a bunch of people around, and it was just like he'd been gone. It was not like he, he was passed, but he'd just been out of my life, and we hadn't seen each other for a while. He's going, man, let's write some music. And I said, yeah, man. Here, let's go! As per Belcher's recollection, the pair then went over into the corner to piece together the song. It's hard for me to, to read this because it's just... Seriously, man. I, nobody calls this guy out. Nobody! He, he does all these interviews saying these stupid-ass things and nobody says, Hey, Sammy! Sammy, come on, dude. What do you think? I'm dumb? Stop with your bullshit already, man. Nobody does it. Anyway, where was I? Anyway, uh, yeah, they, they went into the corner to piece together this song, which featured a riff similar to the last lick that Eddie Van Halen showed me when I went back for the 2004 reunion tour. Belcher says, I said, Eddie, Show me your newest shit. Because every time I'd be around him, I'd say, show me your newest shit. He'd say, okay, check this out. He did this harmonic thing, and then he slid up to the chord like a slide guitar, and we wrote a song with that lick. <laughs> the experience clearly made an impression on Agar, who promptly transformed the dream into a new single. And and owing to Van Halen's involvement. Hagar also shared songwriting credits with his former bandmate. Now, I remember it. I got up in the morning and I wrote this song. It's called Thank You. I used the fucking lick that Eddie showed me in that song. I told Jason, I just really don't know what to say lyrically. You know, I got goosebumps head to toe talking about it. So I wrote it about experience and we'll do that song someday. Now that's gonna be an Eddie influence song to the point that I'm going to co-write it with him. I'm going to give him credit, then maybe we'll donate the money to charity, whatever. You see, I feel so embarrassed about it because everyone's going to say, oh, look at Sammy trying to capitalize on Eddie. Of course. Everybody's going to say that because that's what you're doing. And no, I'm not, Belcher says. You don't understand. This was a real dream. And I told you exactly what happened in it. Oh, boy. Thank you was pieced together too late to be included on Hagar's upcoming album, Crazy Times. Which have <laughs> crazy times. <laughs> Hey, what, hey, 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 everybody, I got the name of the album. What, 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 what's Sammy Belcher? I want to call the album Crazy Times. 
Uh, it's coming out September 30th through by the sound. It will make its way onto an upcoming offering in the near future. <coughs> All right, so um, Sammy's going to give Eddie credit on this horrible song called, uh, what's it called again? Thank you. It's going to suck. I, you know, I mean, I, yes, I have not heard it yet. So how can I say it sucks if I haven't heard it? Well, yeah, I'll be, uh, you know, I'll say this. All right, maybe, maybe I will end up liking it. Maybe Sammy will give it to somebody else to sing. Because if he sings it, it's going to suck. And come on. Yeah, really. He dreamed of Eddie coming in a dream going, hey, Sammy, let's write a song. I mean, come on. You know, I know, I, I'm, I'm positive. He's dreamed of Eddie Van Halen, you know? I, I think his dream was more like he walks outside and he sees a fire going on. He's, he's wondering what's going on. And he sees Eddie standing next to the fire. And when he walks up to it, Eddie's urinating into the fire that contains every Van China record. Van Belcher record. Eddie's out there peeing on it and also, you know, casting it on flames. That's the dream that Sammy really had about Eddie. You know? And then Eddie's spitting on him and telling him he sucks. All that stuff happened in the same dream, actually. But he's had several other dreams where he had a dream that uh, David Lee Roth was kicking his ass. But that happens when he's awake as well. And then there are those times that Sammy wakes up screaming because he has one of those real dreams where his dream shows him that he hasn't even sold half as much as the Dave era did, yet he keeps running around saying he sold more and because he had number one albums, you know, but none of those number one albums, like, outsold Dave and Van Halen. All combined together... So Sammy has those screw dreams and he wakes up screaming. Then he has like one of those time traveler dreams. He dreams and he gets sent back to 1982 where Van Halen is playing sold out shows everywhere. Unlike what he says in his book that they, they would tape the arena in half when Van Halen would play till 1984. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He'll wake up screaming from that one too when he sees all those shows were sold out. But the ultimate dream will be me showing up in his dreams. But in order for him to know what I look like, he needs to be aware of me. And I will not stop bashing Sammy Belcher till he acknowledges me, damn it. I will not be ignored. Thank you. Yeah, right. Like it's even going to come anywhere near the, version, the, the song Led Zeppelin wrote. Thank you. It should have been called... Fuck you, Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, remember that? Fuck you, Eddie Van Halen. Bullshit artist. Yeah, and then write a sequel called Fuck You, David Lee Roth. Since you can't get over him either. That You always jump at a chance on bashing the guy. But it's hilarious how wacky-ass David Lee Roth, as crazy and off his marbles he is. I mean, the guy's completely nuts. I love how this insane guy drives Sammy Belcher crazy because Sammy can't get over the fact that Dave sold more. He won't admit it. Keeps running around saying, Dave won't acknowledge that I was more successful in Vangina than he was. Well, he wasn't in Vangina. He was in Van Halen. You see, you got that part wrong already. I can't stand Sammy Hagar and I hope one day he realizes and watches all the things I say about him. All the lies that he says. And he sucks. Yes, that's right. He sucks more than a vacuum cleaner convention. I said it. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching The Only News That Matters. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Ring that little notification bell. I totally would appreciate that. And leave your comments below about Sammy, whether you love him or hate him. Go ahead, leave it all down there. Just be respectful, all you Sammy lovers, because I will make you disappear and send you to the cornfield for being a bad man, a very bad man.
And hey, like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again. Mm-hmm. <laughs>